Hey, yo, I came a long way from Flint, Michigan, so this one for the hood. I was born on the 3rd of April. I'm a peril, a diction Aries, a verbal god of war, wielding words like a Tory Hanzo blazing, razor sharp fashion, action only displayed in anime. Leaving behind a wake of dead artists stuck to the hatchet, that which is my tongue. My alter ego walks into the venue wondering who's going to die tonight. And I can get away with it, I just need to write it right. So visualize this lyrical Vietnam behind my eyes, walls, sporadic, erratic, right in front of it like a bunker takeover. Spitting with the ferociousness of an old soldier with post-traumatic stress disorder. Crazy? Not exactly, but I've been known to go off a little kids throw firecrackers at me. So I walk to the mic prepared for a firefight, because the realest soldiers die fighting, and the illest writers die writing. And if you think that's wrong, you must be one of them tag alones conspiring to get me gone so my empire strikes back, attacking my clones. Co-conspirator of the human genome project killings. If you wouldn't have farm and niggas, check any random project building. Swarms of belly buttonless children living stereotypically, not to mock my authenticity, I got the facts in my six pack. But give six minutes to these six day adventures and the crowd won't know if it's me spitting or 3D projected imagery, feeding them lies that Spoken words supposed to be a poetry with no roots, used to lynch creative minds. And compared to LeBron James, they got way more hang time. Starving artists are dead. You can tell by the maggots in their mouths and the flies in their eyes. If I malnourished, it's because you're not feeding me. And I'm not giving you enough of what you need to need me. So need me so I can write words that weave into the fabric of your entire being. Speaking to you telepathetically like a higher being. Projecting you images of what I see us being. So the government fears me. And this message will self-destruct shortly after delivery. So tuck it into your memory and remember me when the conspiracy theory of corporate America comes to put your creativity under curfew. Trying to unearth you. I'll leave no artist behind. I'll never desert you. I write to the death. Excuse me. I fight to the death or into the land's mine. And if you down with me, I'ma fall on that landmine. And if the industry catches me behind enemy lines, I'ma bust to the last line. I'ma never put my pen down. It'll die with me, giving all I can give. And if writing means I can no longer live, I know at least one poet in here is down to die with me. If not, send my notepad to my family. Tell them I did the best I could. And if my clones sound just like me, I hope they can make you feel like I could. Peace.